Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm so excited to share my first review of the Maserati and Sibylline Art Kit. I've been wanting to try Sibylline's Art Kit for so long when the first edition came out, and now I'm so excited to share this review of the second edition. This new art kit is now available on Maserati's official website. I've been following Sibylline's work for a few years now, and I have a couple of her art pieces from Inktober. I find her art to be super inspiring and clean. I love her, her painting style and I love her line work. This art kit features very similar supplies she uses to create her own artwork, which definitely sold me in getting this art kit. I've never used acrylic gouache often. I do have a primary mixing set, but I don't have much experience with it and the paints are pretty expensive so I always feel a little bit weird using them. I've used regular gouache pretty often enough and I'm still learning the medium but I thought acrylic gouache and regular gouache was going to be kind of similar and oh no, it's definitely not. It's more similar to acrylic than anything. You can go on Maserati's official website or check out my blog post for a more detailed list of the supplies you will get in this art box. Everything is linked down in the description. So very briefly, the supplies this you will get in this box is two sketchbooks. One is a workbook with very similar paper that the sketchbook has, which is very nice. Um, you get three brushes, washi tape, a lead pencil, lead for the pencil, which is also nice of them to include. Um, you get an eraser, paints, and a paint palette. You also get a collection of prints, postcards, and stickers. And if you don't know, I absolutely love collecting stickers. So I'm very excited to have those and add those to my collection. This kit also includes a 2022 calendar, um, all for the price of $1.99, and that is in USD. Um, this price can be pretty reasonable or pretty pricey depending on how you look at it. The workbook she includes has a lot of thought and hard work put into it. Even without the additional guidebook, I feel like you can learn a lot from just practicing mixing paints and just painting full illustrations without having to worry about having perfect line work. To start out, I did follow her instructions but the color palette was a little iffy and off for me. Um, I did make some mistakes when starting out and I had to start over, but that's totally okay. We are a place of making mistakes and being okay with them. <laughs> I will say one downside for me was how small the drawings were in the workbook, um, but I definitely think it forced me to be more careful and mindful with every stroke of paint that I put down. And I feel like that can be a very good practice for a beginner artist as well. If you're new to um, acrylic gouache or if you're just a new artist in general and you don't feel like you have a style yet, I think in a healthy way, using the guidebook and the workbook together to kind of adjust and grow and just learn how to put paint down and layer is a really good gift that you can give yourself or you can give to an artist friend. I was definitely pushed out of my comfort zone when I was using these paints and all the new tools. Um, I, I was very happy with the end results um, and I will continue to use the paints and practice in my own sketchbook, which I hope to have a sketchbook tour of that very soon. If you want to see more traditional art pieces from me using these tools, please check out the link below and give this video a like and a comment down below as well. And just consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Other than that, thank you so much for supporting me. Giving this video a like helps me out so much, more than you could ever know. <laughs> um, I hope this was very useful to you and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye!